Okay, okay. Pumla, we were talking about um, basically how the organization started, but now you said there was a, you became chairman of an organization. How many people were involved in the starting? And how? Yeah, when we started the organization, you know, there was so many volunteers, you know, volunteers, interested volunteers in this in the, in this in this shop that we we, we, um, we were innovating, you know, because actually this is the first school in the area since it was. After democracy, before democracy, there were no such a school. And after democracy, after 10 years, you know, and then we innovated this school, you know, mm. after our 94. So, um, this so we, were, we, were, we were about 23 volunteers, you know. Mm. Now, what year was this that, that you started then? It was 2003, mm -hmm. 27 May, mm -hmm. right? So we recruited so many volunteers and people come with the, for themselves, you know, saying that we need to support. In fact, these people were thinking that it is volunteers. This is going to be a gold mine, you know, whereby they will give, um, they, they will work for this organization. And after working, then they will benefit, right? Like they will get a, a job. Because there is a, a, a crisis of, of people of job, you know, where people don't have job, mm -hmm. you know. So they, they thought by opening this center, mm -hmm. you know, they will be they will they will have something that, that can they can put on the table for their families, mm -hmm. you know. But unfortunately, uh, the organization we registered the organization as a non-profit organization, and uh, but we need money to run the organization and uh, people they got trained right mm -hmm. and also I use my own experience and my own experience tapping to to the caregivers that we were working together mm -hmm. you know and um, yeah yeah it goes on and goes on and goes on but people find that there's no end of the month there's no payday mm -hmm. and they have to to go to the green fields and looking for for job and getting they get the job and they are working all the people that I was working with them and uh, um, I could not say to them why you ran away with the skills that you already accumulated from mm -hmm. our center you know because um, she have to leave or he have to leave mm -hmm. you know and so how many people were there about that time that that first started how many people left yeah about how was the number we, did, we started with 23 people. 23? 23. Ooh. Now we are three left. Mm, mm, mm. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, there's no money that the organization is generating it. And we've been approaching the government from the bottom to the top and from the top to the bottom. And we've been uh, approaching the international world, you know, mm. to such an extent we've got some ties an exchange program with the UK people and I also mentioned that we really losing the experienced staff because we don't have incentive, you know, to keep the staff, you know. I'm not saying that we should have bugs and bugs and bugs, you know, but just something to live that we can live in, with, you know. That's why I'm killing it. I'm saying that it's an incentive, you, have, you know, something that will encourage us to, to do more. Because mm -hmm. at some stage, I feel like giving up, you know, because um, 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 I feel like I'm nothing with my family, right? I worth nothing to my family because I can't provide my family with anything. The family should provide me with something to eat, mm. something to wash, mm. something to wear. You know, I'm a big man, I've got children, you know. So when I sleep, uh, uh, I become very mad, you know, when I have to come here, you know. And if I don't want to come here, these kids will go there to my house and say, Pumla, we need you. We don't have money, but we need you. Mm -hmm. And I uh, feel uh, become very much hurt. And even at, if I don't come here, the community itself, why you didn't go to work? Explain. I have to explain. I'm saying that uh, I'm not employed. I'm not getting anything. 
this is out of my my heart what I'm doing, you know. So if I don't feel like going, why you ask me to go, you know? Because are you living your life, most? You know what I'm saying? But I have to come because the kids will knock on my, on my doors and saying that we need to. Mm. Right. How, how many children do you have here now? And now I've got 33 children now, mm. you know. And some you get more all the time. Yeah, right? I, I did have some more children, about 60. You know, I was rushing to 100 kids, you know, and some of them, they, 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 they kind of achieving something in the program, you know, and they become self-help, right? And uh, they move for other kids to come in, you know, and some of them are independent, working independently, yeah. doing some pit work and some sewing, mm -hmm. you know, and some gardening, you know, and other kids are, are just sitting at home because even the place is not conducive for the kids, it's not encouraging the kids to come, you know, and the challenges of the organization, you know, you know, are uh, also uh, in, uh, what can I say, are uh, also contributing, you know, to, to, to the deterioration mm -hmm. of, uh, of the numbers of the children, mm -hmm. you know, who come to school, you know. Also, the, not having a transport, you know, to collect them is also another thing that is, ha is harming the organization, you know. So, so you have the classic problem, but even if you get something started, how do you maintain it? How do you, con how you continue? Not, I'm not even talking about having it grow, but how do you just continue? How you, because you're, what you're telling me is that you get discouraged on a, on a number of levels, mm. I guess, you know. Mm. Mm. So what, what do you think about that? Do you have a plan how to get out of this, what they call, rut? Um, as an experienced man, um, I've done everything on my disposal, right? I, I, I plan, I did everything that I can do, you know, to, to come out of this situation. Now I'm really exhausted. I'm really exhausted. Um, I'm really tired. To such an extent, it affects my my thinking way. You know what I'm saying? Because I've been submitting proposals side by side, asking people to come, and they come and go. They come and go. They come and go. They're running away from this having this, this program because it's a huge program, right? You know, I approached the local municipality, they come here and they, they promise me and they go, they run away. You know, the office of the premier in East London that calls the rule of was working together, you know, uh, and they kind of, um, um, subsidizing the, 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 the center with about 60,000, 60,000 rands, but not in, in coins or cash, you know, but giving us a training, you know, you know, workshopping us, you know, taking the children out, you know, like, you know what I'm saying? Field Having, trip. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So it's like that, you know, they invest like that on us, you know, and uh, they run away, you know, because they, them become a, they become having the problem with themselves, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about Um Yeah, I'm exhausted, man. Right now, my plan is one, right, and it's a very stupid plan. I'm waiting for a good Samaritan, right? Or uh, a good Samaritan, somebody will be passing by and see the shame where I am with my kids and give a hand, you know. You know what I'm saying? It's not a plan, it's a very stupid kind of thinking, you know, mm. that you're waiting for something that you don't know what is going to happen, you know. But I know that things, they happened, things are happening, you know. Uh, uh, it's not because you want them to happen, they just happened. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm saying that because I'm coming from the background of uh, of a Christianity, right? Whereby we know that nobody knows, right? Nobody knows about our tomorrow. You know, so we're just living up for for the future. Mm. You know, there's a there's a there's a Christian um, saying or 
a verse or uh, a thing that I, I use quite often. It says, we walk by faith, not yeah. by sight. Yeah. So you're walking by faith. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, I walk by faith, man. You know, 